hello kids today we are going to revise about our beautiful universe we already learned we know our universe neighbors are neighbors in space stars moon planets we know our solar system and the earth its moment formation of the day and night formation of seasons we already learned it again once time we are going to revise it okay so ready let us see our universe the night sky especially on look cloud less day dark night is a beautiful sight the night sky especially on cloudless dark night it look a beautiful sight isn't it we see thousands of bright objects some are big some are bright some are small and twinkling just as the people living close to our house and our neighbors the planet in our solar system the satellites stars and other heavenly bodies are neighbors in space some are closer some are far from us but even the ones which appear to be close by are far away neighbors could in space now we'll see neighborhood in space who are our neighbors okay star stars are countless in universe stars are countless in universe stars means what stars are gigantic balls of hot gases though huge they appear very small as they are very far from us stars are appearing they are very near to us but they are a very far if they are looking a small means they are a very far from us the sun is the star closest to the earth sun also one of the star it is we are seeing a biggest star because it is a closest to the earth therefore appears bright and bigger than the other star sun is very close closest star as compared to the other star so that it is a appearing bright and bigger than the other star see how the other star looking very small dot 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 no but sun looking a very big because he is a very close to the earth planets and moon planets are heavenly bodies they revolve around a star who is star here sun the sun is star 
planets are heavenly bodies that revolve around the star means sun unlike stars they don't have their light of their own but reflect the lights of the sun most of the planet in our solar system have satellite or moons they re they revolve around them the earth has only one moon which reflect the lights of the sun the earth has only one moon which reflect the light of the sun during the day we can only see the sun in the sky because it's a bright sunlight hide its bright sunlight hides everything else so that in the morning day during the day we see only sun it is only at night we is able to see stars and moons and our heavenly bodies because that time sun disappear means he is not seeing our side understood no morning shines bright sunlight bright sunlight hide everything else so that morning time we only see the sun the sun and the eight planets and their satellites make up the solar system the planet revolve around the sun in a fixed path is called the orbits the planet revolve around the sun in a fixed path called the orbits okay now see solar system it is the solar system our solar system consists of the sun around which revolves the eight planets you know eight planets name mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune these all are eight planets they all revolve around the sun see now we see the features of these planets mercury Mercury is the smallest planet and is closest to the sun it is very boiling hot during the day and freezing cold at night going to revise about characteristics of these planets okay so see here kids mercury mercury is the smallest of the eight planets it is the very smallest planet of the eight planets being a closest to the sun it is boiling hot during the day and freezing cold at night next is venus second from the sun means it stands second from the sun it is brightest planet in the solar system and visible to the naked eye at dawn and dusk it is a brightest planet in solar system and it is visible 
to the naked eye at dawn and dusk. For this reason, it is called the morning star or evening star. Venus is called as a morning star or evening star. Third planet is Earth. Only planet that support life. Life has Earth has life sustaining components air and water on it. Earth has air water on it. So this planet support the life. Next Mars. It stands from the sun on the fourth place. Covered with the red dust. Mars appears red in color at the night sky. It is named after the Roman god of war and described as the red planet. Mars called as a red planet. Fifth place. Which planet is there? Jupiter. From the sun, Jupiter is on fifth place and largest planet in our solar system. It has unique rings. No, Saturn is has it. Next one is Saturn. Saturn has unique ring made of ice, rocks, dust around it. Next one is Uranus. It's the seventh planet. Saturn is sixth planet and it has a ring. Seventh planet is Uranus. And the, it is the third largest planet. It is not a visible to the naked eye. It was the first planet discovered with the use of telescope. Now last one, Neptune planet. It is the coldest planet in the our solar system because it is a very far from the sun. Understood my kids? Neptune appears bluish and is the most dis distant planet from the sun. This time every planet has different characteristics. Okay? Now, in a case, Pluto was considered the ninth planet in our solar system until 2006. When I am learning now, that time Pluto was counting as a ninth planet. When I was in small, means studying primary, higher primary, that time I was learned Pluto as a ninth planet. Means Pluto was considered the ninth planet in our solar system until 2006. When it was redefined as a drop planet. After 2006, it was refined, redefined as a dropped planet. The dropped planet is planetary object that is neither a planet nor a satellite. After 2006, Pluto was refined as, redefined as, means it is called as redefined as dropped planet. So that now we are consider considering only eight planets in our solar system. Pluto ninth Oh, no. It was there, no? It is a dropped planet. It is a neither planet nor a satellite. Understood? Okay. Next C. Oath. The Earth is the third planet in the solar system. It appears blue when seen from the space and is thus called a blue planet. Life on Earth exists because of the presence of air and water. The Earth has only one satellite that is the moon. Earth movement. Earth spins 
or rotates around itself on a imaginary line that runs through the center of the earth the imaginary line is called the axis and is tilted at angle 23 and half degree now we'll see how are days and night caused how are day and night caused earth rotational moment causes by day and night the earth rotates from west side west to east that is the reason the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west it rotates at a fixed speed and takes around 24 hours to complete a one rotation we call this period 24 hours a day since the earth is spherical in shape the part facing the sun receiving the sunlight has the day and the part facing away from the sun it has a night as the earth continue its rot rotational moment on the axis the light part slowly moves away has a night and the dark parts move towards the sun and has the day this type day and night are forming okay now see revolution beside a rotating on its axis the earth simultaneously move around the sun in a fixed orbit this movement is called revolution okay now we we'll see it one revolution means it take the earth 365 and 1 upon 4 days to complete the one revolution we call this period as a one year how are the different seasons are caused the earth revolves the earth revolution is responsible for the changes in the seasons how does this appear happens when the earth revolves around the sun on its tilted axis half of its near to the sun while the other part half is away from it naturally the part near the sun has a longer and warmer day because of the sun rays that it receives therefore this part of the earth experiences summer seasons the other how part of the earth is a little away from the sun receiving the slanting lines slanting rays in slanting line rays from it therefore has that part has a shorter and the cooler days it is winter in the this part of the earth this sides years okay the in between these two seasons both the part experiences at man and spring seasons weather being neither too nor hot neither too hot nor too cold these seasons are spring seasons are at man seasons which part facing the sun that part has summer season and which part away from the sun that part is winter season understood kids how the different seasons called okay here are lesson revision over today's your homework is you read the lesson carefully remove the small point and 
create our own notes means when you read the lesson you will get the answers what is revolution planet's name what is the earth what is the sun what is the moon you create one small small sentences question sentences how are the day and night caused momentum of the earth okay what are the stars what is the solar system what are planets this time you do create a questions and read the lesson okay thank you for watching the video